all right so in this video we are going to set up material ui in our next year's project so let's go to this mui.com and let's go to get started and we, we, we want yarn so yarn add material ui motion whatever copy it kill the server paste it and material UI uses robot of font so I am gonna just simply copy paste it we don't have the HTML file in next year so you can import it in CSS and font icons also I mean you can go to these websites and you can download the font file and you can include it in the file system and all that but CDN is fine enough for this use case so let's go to our global css how do you do this import import url double quotes this will be the font and the font icons of material we want so let me do it like this right so import Okay. Yeah. So this should do it. And if we, I think dependencies are installed. SVG icons, not reuse pre-built SVG material icons such as those found in icon demo. We must first install the. Yeah, we can install this. This is this would be a pretty big package, I think, because icons are very large. But uh, yeah, we can install it. And go back. And now we can start playing with this. So now go back, let it install. And we can go to our home component. And the routing in the next years is file based, uh, not like create react app. Uh, like we have the extra for DOM and stuff so inside pages this is the index route this will be the home route or slash route and whatever route we create uh, let's say login.tsx right so this will be uh, displayed this component will be displayed uh, in the slash login route I'll show you so and that this shortcut I'm using that rafce java functional component is coming from this extension ES7, pretty popular extension. ES7, this one, right? And I think we should also include uh, that will become very complicated for you uh, if you're a uh, amateur. But uh, we should uh, also include Airbnb style ES linter and stuff. But uh, that's a I think very complicated task. Too much r and I would have to do. We'll include it later. Let's first learn how to deal with the practical use case of the project. We will learn about these nice to have things later on. So, yarn add, uh, yeah, we can yarn left. Go back. So, we have material and stuff installed. And let's see, do we have any errors? No errors. So we want to go to our home route. We want to use a material component. Let's use button. Come on. Button. And the variant uh, will be hello friend, and the variant will be where is the intelligence man? Where is the variant contained? Let's go back. This will be a button. Let me reload. 
no errors and this is a button so we have successfully plugged in the material UI thing and yeah that's it for this video and we can start with some practical thing in the next one